It's officially boiling hot out. The heat wave is insane. And so I need a comfort movie. Literally no one asked and no one cares, but I wanna watch this movie. We got the vibes, all right? Even though it's not a summer film, like the kids are literally in school, it feels like a summer film. We got pink lights because love. And we got candy. Literally a vibration. Let's have a good time together. Welcome back. I should finish chewing before I say welcome back. Welcome back. What's up guys, it's Ange, and today we're gonna be watching 10 Things I Hate About You. I've watched this before, so it's not really a reaction. It's a commentary. I love movies in depth. Commentary to this movie. You guys should check it out. All right, that's it. <laughs> Before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all my content. I post three times a week. Follow me on my social media. All my handles will be in the description below. And follow me on Twitch. I live stream every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. If you guys wanna check out the full-length commentary track to this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page where you can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. All right, y'all, let's jump straight into the commentary. Look at this grunge title card. I love it. I'm pretty sure I watched this movie at least like four or five times. I'm pretty well versed in 10 things I hate about you. Fun fact, this movie is actually based, not based, I guess like inspired by The Taming of the Shrew by Shakespeare. Yes, yeah, Sir William himself. Yeah, Julia Stiles! Give him the glare! Stir him down! What an edgy teenager. We love it. What girls in high school actually like dance like that in the car? I'm literally like... We're going ham in the car. Me and my friend Soph, we're literally like singing Katy Perry hot and cold on the top of our lungs, probably looking gross. We don't look as put together as those girls. Not only does she write dirty novels, her name is actually Miss Perky. Coincidence? I think not. Keith, my boy! It says here you exposed yourself in the cafeteria. It was a bratwurst. Aren't we the optimist? Lady, why? Of course she changed it to Brawlers. You know, you pull inspiration in places where you can. Fun fact, he's the head elf in Santa Claus. Did I just change your entire childhood? I know, I know that I did, because when I found out, my mind exploded. Now over oh here. Oh my God. What's her name again? Bianca. Yes, I watched this four times and I still don't remember the characters' names. I burn, I pine, I perish. Of course you do. You burn, you pine, you what? Stop, no one says that. I love my Prada backpack. You have a Prada backpack? You rich? I know you're not rich. Literally half this film is talking about how you're not rich and how literally your sister can't afford to go to college. Inconsistency? Oh God, not Joey. What are those sandals he's wearing? And also light pants with a dark shirt? It don't work like that. I guess in this society being male and an asshole makes you worthy of our time. What about Sylvia Plath or Charlotte Bronte? Should really be like, give me the fee female authors. I feel like I read more female authors in high school than male. Actually, that's a lie. But Charlotte Bronte, one of my favorite books is Jane Eyre. Go to the office, you're pissing me off. Okay. What? It's like her senior year, right? I literally would have been like, okay. Honestly, during my senior year, it'd be surprising if I was even sitting in that class. Like, I was gone for half my senior year, doing God knows what, just not in school studying. Undulating with desire. I do not appreciate a dolly zoom in this moment. I hear you were terrorizing Mr. Morgan's class. Terrorizing? Expressing my opinion is not a terrorist action. I agree. The way you expressed your opinion to Bobby Ridgeway. Okay, this time she was just saying that she didn't like Hemingway. People perceive you as somewhat tempestuous. Heinous bitch is the term used most often. She's like, I like that. Virgin alert. Ew. Did you just say virgin alert? How is this the first time I'm realizing that? If you've ever said virgin alert, I've literally come after you. No one says that, that's a loser move, and I would literally punch you. Who effing cares? And look at her. Is she always so vapid? <laughs> what does vapid mean? <laughs> Offering nothing that is stimulating or challenging. <laughs> Get God, girl. Wearing a strategically planned sundress to make guys like us realize that we can never touch her. Well, maybe she just wants to feel cute. It's not strategic at all, all right? She's actually looking for a French tutor. That's perfect. D do you speak French? Well, no, but I will. Oh, we gotta admire his determination, though. Can you ever just be whelmed? 
I think you can in Europe. It's a pretty bad conversation if you ask me. Look at me, learning. Remove head from sphincter, then drive. Remove what and huh and then drive? Just a minor encounter with the shrew. The shrew! That's your hint right there. Taming of the shrew. What a random moment. But without it, the movie would lose its vibe. <laughs> yeah, dude, 10 out of 10! I would have given it a 9 out of 10, but you know, the leaves inside the goggles, how you managed to get that in there, plus one point in my book. Hey, what's this? It says Sarah Lawrence. Reaction. Decided you were gonna stay here and go to school. You, you dub like me. Be a husky. I was a husky for a year, and then the school screwed me over. I am the only girl in school who's not dating. You're the only girl in school who isn't dating? Everyone just hooking up with each other? It's not a thing. I'll get to sleep at night. The deep slumber of a father whose daughters aren't out being impregnated. I love how his number one concern is that he just doesn't want his kids to be pregnant. You suck. You suck. you suck! I can't help it. I love the one-liners in this. It's so quotable, this movie. It's like a mix of super witty and super cringe all in one. It's so good. We could, uh, eat some together, uh... You're asking me out? That's so cute! What's your name Girl. Ew! Condescending. I hate it. Not the... What's your name I can date when my sister does. My sister's a particularly hideous breed of loser. Plus, she's a But there are lots of guys who wouldn't mind going out with a difficult woman. Q in Heath Ledger, Patrick, let's go. I'm so excited for this. You think you could find someone that extreme? Ew, I hate how she's scheming. She knows that she's using him here and it's the worst. But also she has like the best learning curve through this. So besides possibly like, Patrick? Would any of you be interested in dating Katarina Stratford? Wait, this is so funny. The way that the four of them are in the back just staring. It's such an interesting directing choice. <laughs> but it's, it makes for a good comedy portion. And it feels very 90s. No one will go out with her. That guy will. Why do you have a pocket knife? And why is your teacher not taking it away? Notice how he put away his knife while the teacher was walking by. It's so good. Anyway. Listen, I... Bro, joke's on you. You have to pay for that textbook. It's not mine. It's, it's, this is school's. How do we get him to date Kat? I don't know. Money! Yeah, well, what we need is a backer. Someone with money who's stupid. <laughs> Q and Joey. Hey! Is that a peach fruit roll-up? Because you don't see many. Oh, oh, okay. What makes you think you could sit down and take someone's food. I would react the same way. Bro, bro, fight him. He's drawing on your face. Why would you allow this? I know you have like a business proposal and so you want to be on his good side, but why would you let him draw on your face like that? On him trying to go for the handshake. I'm dead. I haven't given like a proper handshake since probably like college started. Okay, here's the thing. You wouldn't shake hands with someone like your peer, like someone in the same age range as you. I can't explain how dangerous this is, bro. I bet you that can kill someone. Like, the the brain damage on that is unreal. I can't take out her sister until Kat starts dating. Not my problem. Would you be willing to make it your problem if I provide generous compensation? How much? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Bro, 20 bucks covers my gas, homie. Don't be cheap. We go to the movies, that's, uh, 15 bucks. We get popcorn, that's, uh, 53. 53? How specific? But honestly, that's true. You go to the movie theater and you end up dropping like 50 bucks on food, candy, tickets, drinks, everything. But the thing is you can't resist getting it. It's part of the movie experience, which is how they get you. They know, they know that you can't resist. This is a topic that's just a never ending cycle in my head whenever I try to go to the movies. <laughs> Literally dead. He should, he's probably dead. You just murdered someone. I'm not hostile. I'm annoyed. Me too. Honestly. Same. You don't always have to be who they want you to be, you know. I happen to like being adored. Thank you. You're welcome. Where'd you get the pearls? My mom's. So you're just gonna start wearing them now? It's not like she's coming back to claim them. They look good on me. They kind of do. I mean, I don't want to be that girl, but they kind of do. <laughs> they look great on her. I can never work pearls. You kidding? 
smooth. Look at that little slide he did to block her from the door. Oh god, this is the most ballsy thing that cat has ever done. Oh god, bro. My insurance does not cover PMS. <laughs> Best line ever. My insurance does not cover PMS. Kat, you know, you are a very smart girl. And yet you're dumb enough to crash into uh, some kid's car just because you're annoyed. My man Cameron here has a major Jones for Bianca Stratford. What is it with this chick? She have beer flavor? I forgot about that line. So you two are gonna help me tame the wild beast. The shrew, actually. Bogey Lowenstein is having a party. It's the perfect opportunity for you to take out Kat. And for a little payback. Payback. Oh yeah, I just got that. After how many times I've seen this movie, it's because Bogey took over his group of friends, right? And so he's getting payback on Bogey. That's incredible. What a fun shot this is. All the shots, everything, it just fits the vibe of the movie. So you go to Bogey Lionbrow's thing on Friday night? Yeah, I might. Good, because you know. I'm not gonna bother if she won't be there. Don't fall for it, girl. Ew, ew, he just winked at himself, too. It's actually just like, ooh, no girl finds that attractive, sorry. I found a picture of Jared Leto in a drawer once. Okay, so that's the kind of guy she likes, like, pretty guys. I don't know. You don't know your sister at all? Come on, you don't know even a little bit? Aha, uh -huh. black panties. Why are you showing me your sister's underwear? She could, she could just like the color. That's not what that means, man. Those are like the most basic cotton panties too. Like why would she want someone to see her in that? I'm sorry. It's like if you're gonna buy black lingerie, then like buy like cute ones if you want people to see it. It's, it shouldn't have been black. It should have just been cute underwear. They could be tie-dye. <laughs> if they're ugly, not saying that regular pair of underwear are ugly, but they're very basic. No spice, no juice to them, you know what I'm saying, guys? He wouldn't do that, because he's smart and probably an overthinker, because he, he loves to try to fit in. Why would he disrupt a game like that? Are you telling me I'm not a pretty guy? You are pretty, Heath. Why are your pants so reflective, sir? I can't get over his pants. Why is his pants so reflective? If you're planning on asking me out again, you might as well just get it over. Do you mind? You're kind of ruining this for me. Yeah. Different technique, I like it. I was watching you out there before. I've never seen you look so sexy. <laughs> bro, you could tell that last measure they were clearly ending the song. Come on, bro. Everyone could have tell from a mile away. Why are you wearing a bright red dress to a party? Where are we going? Mr. Stratford, it's just a party. And hell is just a sauna. <laughs> Oh my god, I knew that line. I should have said it. <laughs> the dad has the best one-liners. Who was the script writer of this movie? They deserve an award. Can you, for just one night, forget that you're completely wretched and be my sister? Also, it's convenient. You have a date already, Kat. Fine, I'll make an appearance. <laughs> it's starting. It's start- what's starting? No kissing. No tattoos, no piercings, no ritual animal slaughters of any kind. Where do you think they're going? What kind of parties did you go to, sir? That's a lot of cologne. You think I should lose the tie? Yeah. You're, you're literally putting on a coat, sir. Yo, everyone's showing up at the same exact time. Oh. Must be Nigel with the brie. The brie? Cheese with cigars. Oh my god, there was literally a kid with a plate of brie. I'm dead. <laughs> These kids hired their own DJ? That guy was legit about to get some. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. Bro, this fashion is coming back now. Like the 90s. Did you see that dress? People are wearing that now. Stay away from my sister. Oh. I'll stay away from your sister, but I can't guarantee she'll stay away from me. Ew. Joey's the epitome of what guys care about in high school. Actually, that's pretty inaccurate, but that's what movie guys always seem to think. Look who found me. Hey, please do not address me in public. Excuse me, girl, I'm doing a favor for you, the heck? God, I didn't get that sass level. You just begged me, and you just call me like the best sister ever. You, you really look amazing. Thanks. Oh shoot, she's realizing that she did him dirty, that she let him on. I'll see you around, okay? You rude. It backfired, bro. Ugh, so gross. Uh, I'll show you the bathing suit again. Again? Literally, no one cares. 
Yeah, it's starting to click now, huh, Bianca? That you're a B word too. What I don't understand is that like she gets made fun of for dancing on a table. It's not like she was doing like overtly crazy dancing. She's feeling herself. She's just dancing and having a good time. She was literally the life of the party here. She wasn't doing that, y'all would have a worse time. That's all I'm saying. Hey, hey, we need to talk. Cameron, I'm a little busy right now. Can you give me a second? Oh God, I'm so sassy, Cameron. Don't let anyone ever make you feel like you don't deserve what you want. Yeah, let's go, Patrick. You just give him the mic for two seconds. Two seconds, and he inspires you. That's the turning point in how you know this character is actually goaded. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Yep, she's gone. Your eyes have a little green in them. Whoa, that's so cute. It's like, yeah, I know. I get it from my mom. She's clearly blacked out here. And you know how later, like, she tries to kiss him? Sorry, spoiler alert. Later, she tries to kiss him. She's this blacked out, like, here? And you're telling me, like, a few hours later, she, she remembers that she tries to kiss him? Hey, Cameron. Um, do you think you could give me a ride home? After you completely ignored me the entire night? Mmm. And you want to use me again? Mmm. I would've been like, nah. But Patrick gave him, you know, the... The motivation words, which if he didn't, he probably would have left. Cameron's actually a really great character for sticking by Bianca. The only thing people know about me is that I'm scary. Patrick's like literally same. What's up with your dad? Is he, is he a pain in the ass? He just wants me to be somebody that I'm not. Who? Bianca. What do you mean? He does not want you to be like Bianca at all. I don't think he likes either of you, sorry. <laughs> if anything, he likes you more. He was like, did you make anyone cry today? Oh. She's like, bro, you asked me out. But at the same time, he knew he couldn't because he felt bad because he's getting paid for this date. But she doesn't know that. Oh, this poor girl. You never wanted to go sailing with me, did you? Okay, not no. actually. Okay, no, not actually. Well, then that's all you had to say. Facts? Yeah, tell her. Have you always been this selfish? Oh! And somehow he still gets the girl. I, I defended you when people called you conceited. I helped you when you asked me to. And then you just blow me off so that you could... Aww. I would have been like, bro, I don't owe you anything. Honestly, I root for the underdog. So even though I'm like, I don't know how he won her over there, I'm still happy for him. Like, good for you, man. And um, back, back in, in the, the game. game. <laughs> what do you mean you're back in the, you won the game. You got the girl. How was everybody's weekend? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we should ask Kat. Unless she kicked the crap out of your dumb butt. I don't want to hear about it. Someone give him an award. These are the best kind of teachers in high school. Those are the ones that you remember. I know you're a fan of Shakespeare more than a fan. We're involved. Involved? I don't even want to begin to know what that means, girly. Like, you do you. You guys learn archery in, in school? Did any of you guys do archery in gym class? Can I help you? You need to call 911 for that. Not only does he have brain damage, he's also got butt damage now. Just take care of the flowers, the limo, the tux, everything. Tawando? See, at this point, he should have just been like, nah, but then also still just take her out. Like, be like, I'm just gonna take her out. Excuse me, have you seen the feminine mystique? I've lost my copy. Don't for one minute think that you had any effect whatsoever on my panties. Then what did I have an effect on? Other than my upchuck reflex, nothing. <laughs> and then she hands him the feminine mystique after that line. So witty for a rom-com. No one talks like that, but it's so good. You embarrass the girl. Sacrifice yourself on the altar of dignity and even the score. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Even the score, man. Humiliate yourself to get the girl. This is literally the best scene ever in rom-com history, all right? Just too good to be true. And with this banger of a song. Can't take my eyes off of you. I need you, baby, to warm those lonely nights. I love you, baby. So did she not freak out that she was he was singing the lyrics, I love you? This is so adorable, I can't. He's still going. He's running away from campus security. That's how dedicated this man's is. He's lying to himself that he's doing this for 300 bucks. You got pot. I'm confiscating this. This too. For your munchies later? I have some ideas on how we can improve the girls' soccer team. She's getting you out of detention. She's the best. I've heard that steroids can severely disintegrate your package. It's a good word for Miss Perky. I was thinking I devised a plan that will enable us to finally defeat them. Misdirection. They're looking left and we're running right. How do we get them to look left? Um, like this. 
That's literally not okay. Honestly, something like that probably would have gotten you right here. Maybe even expelled, who knows? So how did you keep him distracted? I dazzled him with my wits. Good play on words there. Wits more like... Oh, this date is so cute. Tell me this isn't cute in summer vibes. This is why I wanted to watch this movie. The actors did a great job in making this look super fun though. But God, it's a mess to film probably. Did they have to like reset and like change costumes? Like, did they do this all in one? Oh, so cute! Tell me something true. You're sweet. And sexy. And I'm getting paid to see you. Go to the prom with me. No. Come on, people won't expect you to go. Why are you pushing this? She just seems awfully suspicious for no reason. <laughs> so, so now I need to have a motive to want to be with you. You need therapy, you know that? Has anyone ever told you that? Escalated for no reason. Of course you have to whip out a cigarette too. Probably just to annoy her. You should have just told her, come on, I hate it. But also, why did she get suspicious there? I wouldn't be suspicious at all. So did you like study your own French so that you can say that to him? He still has the whole drill in his textbook. I'm dead. <laughs> also, why are you still tutoring French to her? You already admitted that you had to learn French to teach her. Let's review. Cat, not interested. Me? Dying to go. Do you know what happens at proms? You are not going out and getting jiggy with some boy. I don't care how dope his ride is. My mama didn't raise no fool. I just realized that I don't think he, the college fund tuition thing was the issue here. I think he just didn't want her to go far because he has like a jacuzzi on his freaking balcony and all this exercise equipment. So, and he's a single father. So I think I'm completely wrong. Four or five times watching this movie and I still don't know what's happening. Joey never told you that we went out, did he? In ninth for a month. So what happened? Please tell me you're joking. Just once. Everyone was doing it, so I did it. In ninth grade? Everyone's doing it in ninth grade? Dang, it was spicy in the 90s, I guess. Why did you help daddy hold me hostage? It's not like I'm stupid enough to repeat your mistakes. I <gasps> guess I thought I was protecting you. You can't always trust the people you want to. Well, I guess I'll never know, will I? Okay, I like get why you're upset. It's true, she did kind of learn it on her own. She's going out with a sweet boy now, Cameron. I like him, but also it's not like she had much to go off of. You were really into Joey for a second. Bye, Dad, I'm going to the prom. Funny, sweetie. Funny, sweetie. <laughs> What's that? A prom dress. A really cute one! Look, she has like a little floofy tutu! Oh, she's wearing pearls now! I wonder if they're her mother's. I'm really sorry that I questioned your motives. I was wrong. But you're not wrong! That's the tragic thing! Uh... You're forgiven. No! Tell her, you stupid goose! Ew! Joey, you didn't even ask her, which is like the stupidest thing. Why'd you just show up at her house thinking that she was immediately gonna run and go with you? Unless she did say yes to him, and this is like her way of getting back to him. But I don't think she did, because she's like, Chastity, what are you doing at the prom later on in the movie, right? Oh, so cute! Oh, he got the girl too! Oh my god! I called it a favor! How? You just no famous people? Ugh. See, like, why are you amazing? But can you just, like, tell her the truth? Joey only left you for one reason. He even had a bet going with his friends. He was gonna nail you tonight. <gasps> My god, you're not a real friend, girl. Ugh, oh, gross. Bleh, drop her, honey. And also, like, why would you want to be Joey's second choice? That's also embarrassing, honey. I didn't pay you to take out chat so that some little punk could snake me with me on me. Worse than you just telling her and facing the consequences for it. You already went through the efforts of like getting the band for her, telling her like vulnerable true things. Just oh, all you had to do was be like, bro, sorry, I went out with you first because someone was paying me to do it to try to get to your sister, but now I know it's wrong, and it all just would have been so much easier. But also, it wouldn't have made for a juicy movie, so. Now you're gonna pay you and that little bitch. Oh! oh. Let's go! It must be in the Stratford's jeans. Alright, to be badass, 
I knew this was a setup. It wasn't like that, okay? I cared about you. So then why'd you take the money the second time? That's all I'm saying. Oh, do not kiss her while arguing. It's just gonna make her more pissed. He's like, well, I just pulled off my big moves. Like, what the F am I supposed to do now? He's like, remember, remember I got the band for you? I don't know if I ever thanked you for going last night, but it really meant a lot to me. Look at that growth! Kat clearly went to make amends and also to make up for what she's done to Kat. No. Bianca. <laughs> and Bianca now thanked her for it and actually appreciated it, her for her going, oh, the, char the character work is just so good. You love every character by the end of this movie, except for Joey, I guess, and Chastity, but who cares about those two? Bianca beat the hell out of some guy, upset that I rubbed off on her. Oh, impressed. See, I told you, you're the favorite, bro. When you go to Sarah Lawrence, I won't even be able to watch the game. When I go? I would just send him a check. Best Father of the Year award, even though he's a little crazy. I hate you so much it makes me sick. It even makes me rhyme. I hate it when you make me laugh. Even worse, even worse when, when you make, make me, me cry. cry. And the fact that, the fact you, didn't that you didn't call. call. Oh, this is so good. I hate you. Not even not a little. Even close. Not even close. Not, not even, even a little, 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 little bit. Not even at all. I knew it. Like I watched it yesterday. See. She freaking likes you! Little did she know that she had this waiting for her in the car the whole time. Nice, huh? Is it for me? No, it's actually just for decoration. I gotta return it back later. Some asshole family take on this really great girl. But I screwed up. I am. Um, I fell for her. Oh, what a good line! It's not every day you find a girl who'll flash someone to get you out of detention. I knew you knew what I did. Such a good ending to the movie! Oh, I love these two. This movie is so good. Look at this castle of a high school. This isn't a high school. Also, I've always wondered how did they get that band up there? And this is terrifying. I would hate to do this. This is so scary. 10 things I hate about you. Tell me, tell me, tell me that's not a perfect rom-com to watch in, in the summer. I don't know why I feel like this is like a summer movie, but it is, even though it clearly takes place during the school year. Whatever, I like it. It's a vibe and it's a fun thing to watch when the weather is warm out, okay? Even though it's cheesy, this is exactly what I want. This is exactly what I was looking for in terms of like making me feel good. I love this film and I always will and I will probably watch this movie another five times within the next I don't know how many years but but I can literally watch this movie and never get sick of it. I hope that this convinced you that this movie is good even though I made fun of it most of the time. It's a good film. It's so good. Leave a comment down below what your favorite feel-good movie is, rom-com or not. I want to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that commentary, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all my content. And don't forget to check out my last video. If you guys want to check out the full-length commentary to this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page where you can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty, y'all have the best day ever, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay, bye, okay, bye, okay, bye! Stay cool, y'all! <laughs> Unless you're in a cold place with it, and then, or so stay warm. If you're not, if it's not summertime for you, okay, bye.